Hello YouTube. So today's topic is how to pass time as a security guard. You know, the bottom line is I hope you're not just passing time. I see a lot of guards that just sit out here and they just wait for the hours to go by. I mean, you've got guys that are doing four hour shifts, eight hours. Today I'm doing an eight hour shift. Uh, but I see some guys doing like 12, 14 hour shifts and they literally just sit there and do nothing or just listen to music and just bob their head. Um, so I just, I hope you're not just passing the time. Uh, yeah, it can get boring, but if you're going to sit somewhere for eight hours or 12 hours a day, um, you know, have a plan. Um, maybe use this time to, to think things over or decompress. You know, in, in a world with technology, a lot of times we find ourselves just watching YouTube all day long or playing games on the computer uh, or just watching TV or movies just all day long. Uh, and you never really get any time for yourself. So take this opportunity um, as a guard with all this free time to just decompress and and think. You know, it was Albert Einstein who said, I think he said it, um, that, you know, one day the world's going to be over with when technology surpasses humanity. And quite often, you know, I find myself included that I'm just on my phone all day long. And uh, as a guard, you know, I have time to just sit here and think and plan and and sort things out. Um, but, you know, instead of just sitting here and thinking, you could also be uh, learning something. So a lot of times I listen to just podcast, you know, um, maybe three, four, five hours of just podcast. Everything from how to repair a carburetor to uh, how to paint a house, um, even how to start a business. So the hours I'm sitting here, I'm actually learning. I get paid to learn stuff. So again, you're not just passing time, but rather you are um, enhancing your your knowledge base. Um, so yeah, uh, it, it's, it's a great time to just learn something, you know, again, thinking back, if I was in college, this would be the perfect job because I can sit here and just study and, uh, practice for an exam while just sitting in my vehicle eight hours a day. Um, granted, if your job requires you to get out and actually patrol, you know, your job comes first and foremost, but if you are in a post where you literally just sit there and there's no movement, um, then again, I highly suggest you you just learn something or you know utilize your time the best you can. Um, another thing you can do is just meet people. You know, quite often on my post, there'll be people walking by and I'll greet them or strike up a conversation. It's a good way to network. It's a good way to pass the time, but it's also a great way to just meet other walks of life and get an idea of what they're about and um, just, you know, enhance your time and your life. Uh, I've met some amazing people, everything from a, a lady who feeds cats uh, twice a day, 75 cats. She comes out, she's got a truck, she opens it up, there's food ready, she feeds all these stray cats and... And then she's on her way. She's been doing this for 20 years. But man, she has a hell of a story to tell. And she's an old lady now. She's She's been doing this. Again, I think she said 20 or 25 years she's been doing this. Hasn't missed a day. Um, but her story is amazing. Maybe one day I'll bring it up if you guys are interested. Um, I've also met you know a lot of uh, homeless people. I, I like to hear their story, their side. Uh, they've taught me things. I've taught them things. Um, so again... Instead of just sitting in my vehicle and waiting for eight hours to pass, I go out there and I meet people. You know, as long as it's within my my post confines, I'm I'm not leaving the property. Um, you know, it's it's fair game, and they and they encourage you to meet people. It's you know, you do want to meet the community, and the more you know about the area, the better. Uh, so I did mention podcast. You know, sometimes I'll watch shows on my phone or movies. Um, YouTube videos. These are things I'd be doing if I were at home. 
Uh, so when I do get home, I try not to watch YouTube and movies and videos. I'm like, you know, if I'm going to do it, I would do it at work when it's completely dead. That way, when I'm at home, I can be more constructive and build things or um, exercise, walks, hang out with the family, with the dog. Um, so I leave YouTube and movies and stuff for work. Uh, so again, I get you just use your time at work to uh, catch up on movies that you haven't seen. Um, you know, uh, being at work is a good time to like make phone calls. So if I have like doctor appointments or um, I need to make an appointment to get a vehicle repaired or call up family I haven't called up for a while, not be the perfect time. I mean, I'm sitting here for eight hours. So pick up the phone, um, make these phone calls and that way I'm... Um, Again, utilizing my time. It, again, it, it's all about utilizing your time and um, trying your best not to just be warming up a seat and doing nothing. Okay. Um, right now, I've been setting up a salt water tank at my house and I'm learning all I can about salt water aquariums. So I'm reading through posts and forums and um, listening to podcasts and YouTube videos. All the while, I'm just scanning the area, making sure uh, nothing suspicious is going on. So my eyes aren't glued to the screen, but rather I'm listening and uh, it helps keep me awake. And it also keeps me alert. When I'm listening to something, I have total focus on uh, movement outside. And, and since you're so hyper-focused on listening to a podcast, the slightest movement will catch your attention rather than just sitting in your vehicle doing absolutely nothing and you're just sitting here you're gonna eventually nod off from boredom so again another way to defeat boredom is like i keep reiterating just learn um you know people listen to music people make phone calls uh they walk around i've seen some security guards jogging in place or doing push-ups every 35 40 minutes and those are all great things again it's just a matter of being constructive and utilizing your time as best as possible. You know, sometimes I feel like this is my miniature prison with, um, oh God, what, what is that word that they use? Ah, uh, when prisoners do good, they give them some sort of benefits or rights. You know, they could, uh, move, a, move through the jailhouse or, so anyways, this is my little pr uh, prison and, and, and I have privileges. There you go. I have privileges. So it's a prison with privileges. I can go to the restroom when I want. I can go to the break room and heat up my food. I can make phone calls. I can check my phone. Um, but other than that, the, the post I'm at right now, there's there's not much to do. Uh, I was in uh, another post last night, and it was a little bit more intense because that area, there's constantly something going on. There's a lot of vagrants. It's a dangerous area. Um, so, you know, I don't find myself having too much time there to listen to podcasts and and hang out but if i'm at a post like today you know eight hours um certainly don't waste my time i i'm gonna learn something today i've got eight hours to learn a skill you know i'll tell you how much time can be wasted and, and then i'll cut the video um i i heard this about five years ago and it's stuck with me ever since there was a ceo of a company talking about how employees waste time. Now, here's an interesting fact. If you use the restroom at your company 10 minutes a day, just 10 minutes a day you go to the bathroom, that equates to 40 hours a year. So 40 hours a year is basically a one-week vacation. So you spend one week in the bathroom every year at work, um, paid for. <laughs> Uh, that just tells you how quickly time adds up. So, yeah, I, I just, you do the math. I couldn't believe it either until I did the math. And I'm like, wow, it's true. 10 hours, uh, excuse me, 10 minutes a day equates to uh, 40 hours a year. So, um, yeah, now imagine if you're sitting here for eight hours a day uh, in a year, how many hours that adds up to. You could get three different college degrees in the time you uh, just sit in your car doing nothing. Again, this is only for instances where your job is just, you're at a post and your main objective is just to sit here like this and just 
do nothing. Um, if you're in an area where there's a lot of movement or you have to patrol the area or drive around, I uh, would not suggest this, but certainly uh, this is geared toward people who have a pulse that's just really boring and uh, you don't have much to do. Or you can make YouTube videos. I mean, that's what I'm doing. I don't have many uh, subscribers at the moment. Actually, I have zero subscribers. Uh, no followers. Some people do watch my videos occasionally. I can see the views. But uh, for the most part, this is just a documentary for myself. So 20 years from now, I may look back at this and say, wow, I've grown. Um, so other than that, if you have any questions, certainly feel free to message. Any suggestions? How do you guys uh, pass the time? I'm, I'm curious to hear. Um, other than that, take care, guys.